Hello everybody, it's Mike here at K from Scratch, and today we are looking at another animation package. This one is called a Ketsu, and it is from Nukigara, I think. It's available at nukigara.com, N-U-K-E-Y-G-A-R-A, -E and it's called a Ketsu. Now this is an animation package, it's for rigging and creating animations. Basically you send in an FBX file, you rig it, or basically send in something that's rigged, you set up your animations, and then you export it out as an FBX file. Uh, it is designed to streamline the workflow of creating animations. It does have a very um, straightforward workflow, and without further ado, let us jump in and then we will get back and take a look at pricing in a bit. Now there is a full-blown 30-day trial available. That is what I am using here and I don't pretend for a second to be an animator. So I'm mostly going to just show you the tools. If you're an animator, you'll have an idea if this is useful. If you are not, well this probably isn't the video for you, but there's a lot of nice eye candy in it, so stick around anyways. So first off, what we're going to do is import in an FBX file. So come on up here to the, uh, I think that's a dragonfly, this dragonfly logo and click import FBX. I'm going to show you a couple different things but we'll start with the simplest version and I'm not going to go into a huge amount of depth here but this is a stormtrooper model uh, right mouse button zooms in and out middle mouse button pans right mouse button orbit and that is pretty much exactly what it should look like so now what we want to do is go ahead and rig this guy and we can do this a couple ways we could actually create a skeleton for it uh, by creating a character you go here create character it will open up these tools and I could create things bone by bone but as most of us here are game developers one of their pre-made mirrored rigs is probably the best way to go. So you can create a Unity 3D skeleton or an Unreal Engine 3D skeleton. I'm going to go ahead and create the Unity one and then boom. Now you're going to notice the scaling and everything is a little bit off and that's because you are designed to basically place your bones into your existing mesh. If you want to resize your existing geometry, you should do that before you export it as an FBX. So now the next task is basically to line things up. What you want to do is pick a, a bone here, such as say the root bone here. We can grab it from the picker over here and place it in the model. Now the cool thing is you got your standard widgets here, so your green axis there, or I can actually just hover over the green axis controller like so. And then basically we just want to start lining things up. So here we'll grab this bone right here and we will move it on the X axis and so on. You see the full hierarchy of bones is available. Oops, I got to get used to it. it's up and down. And you just kind of Arrange it so that your bones are lined up as you would want them on your skeleton. Um, and I'm not going to do this full rig. I'll show you something that's fully rigged in a second, but you get the gist of what's going on here. And then once you've got your rig as you want it, we're going to do a little housekeeping over here. And by the way, if you have things in your rig you don't want, for example, I don't want a full hand, just go ahead and delete them and it pulls it out. Also, you'll notice we're only modeling one half and that's pretty straightforward. You can do the other half at a later point. So now what we want to do is make sure that the skeleton and the, the geometry mesh are in the same character. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this guy Stormy, like so. And we're just going to grab the Stormtrooper and put it inside. So you'll see in Stormy, we now have our mesh and we have our geometry. So we're going to grab the hierarchy here and we're going to expand it out, grab everything but the root with the shift select, like so. I'm going to grab my geometry, like so. And you will notice once I do so, um, if I switch over here to skin and check mode, I can now bind the two together. This is your traditional binding mode. So once it is bound, if we grab a bone in the system, you will see the appropriate weights for them. And now you basically just come in and start doing your, um, you know, weight painting so that each bone inflects each thing accordingly. It would obviously look much better if I'd actually took the time to line up the skeleton. But as you'll see, if you also imported an FBX file that was fully rigged, and I'm going to demonstrate that next, here, this is a, oops, by the way, it's in a new scene. Otherwise, it will actually, you can have multiple uh, imported meshes and animations in a single scene file. So I'll open up a new scene. We'll import the boss into said scene. Keep the frame rates there. And you will see this guy already has um, uh, a, a rig attached. You see all the various different pieces of the rig. Or I can come on down here and we can switch and we can show bones. We can switch between wireframe lit wireframe and standard mesh and you see this guy is already rigged and weight painted and ready to go now once you are ready to start animating once you've got your all your weight painting and everything configured then you head on over to animation mode now in order to show off animation mode i'm actually going to use the one that they ship with it so we switch over here and we can just start creating bones so i could go ahead and say create a new animation here we'll call this animation kick kick j and then it's it's simply a matter of basically grabbing the bone that you want to work with like that, uh, I can switch here, I could say, okay, create a new key, 
Let's advance the timeline. We'll create a new key there. You see, we've got our key in between. Actually, I just created a couple keys. So at the two point, let's go into rotation mode and we'll rotate the leg. So that automatically set that key. We'll switch this guy forward. We'll make it even more doing the can can here like so. And then I'll over it to the side. And you see now we have three keys on our animation. Go back to the very first key, click play. And there you see how easy it is to create animations. As you're creating new keyframes, show up over here in the stacker. Again, you've got the picker here to show all the things. You can mix animations. You can have multiple animations over here. Pretty straightforward for the most part. Let's go ahead and open up their demo. If you download the trial version, you will get this version, but you'll see you know, a little bit more of what it is capable of here. So here's a simple walk cycle. Go ahead and show it in the scene. As you can see, uh, the performance of this guy is quite smooth. Um, you could bring props in, level environments in, everything else that you need here. Let's bring in a slightly more complex. So you see here, we got some multiple, uh, so we're the baggy, the skate, and the body are all on separate uh, tracks of animation here. And we'll see what the end result is. So boom, came in from off screen. So let's show from, there we go. Oops. I just orbited and pan. Let's bring this guy back over. There you go. So there you can see a full fancy animation. And that kind of gives you an idea of what the type of thing that a Ketsu can do. Now, uh, again, I'm not an animator. I'm not gonna get in and show you me fumbling over, you know, doing frame by frame bone based animations, but you saw all the basic tools here. So on the one hand, you've got uh, your rigging and weight painting configuration setting over here. And then once you are good with your character that you have set up, you just head back over here and you can start your animations. You've also got the ability to create cycles specifically for things like mirroring cycles, walk cycles, and so on. Very much made for game engine exports. Speaking of exports, once you are happy with what you got, you basically export it as, you can export the scene, scene only, um, only the selected animations, the selection, or only the selected animation. So you can use this just to create the animations and import those back into your tool or game engine of choice. So this is a very clean, straightforward, tool for creating and authoring animations and rigging characters. And again, I've been playing around with it for just a few hours and it is quite simple. Now I know a lot of people out there are going to be going, okay, well, why would I use this over uh, Blender, Max Maya, whatever, especially Blender, which is free. And it's going to boil down to if this is going to save you time. If, if you find this workflow better than what you would use in one of those tools, or if you like this workflow uh, in the streamlined nature of it better than other tools, then perhaps it is a tool worth checking out for you. You. Speaking of which, if you do want to check it out, once again, it is available at nukigara.com. I will link that in the linked document down below, like I always do. You will find here they have tutorials. All the documentation is online. So if you head on over here, you can actually get the full manual and check it out online. Um, on top of that, they're, they've got the communities and forums, but what you are probably most interested in is getting a Ketsu and what does it cost? Now it's actually available on Steam in a form that is currently being deprecated because they are moving to the dreaded subscription model. But don't worry, there is a perpetual license available. Now, first off, let's look at the version we were just looking at there. This is a full functioning free 30 day trial. So if you just wanna check it out, go ahead, download it, full access, Everything you see is there. So you can check out and see if this will help your workflow, if it is useful to you, or just waste an afternoon like I like to do. And that is completely free. Basically, you gotta give them an email address, they'll send a key to you, you get 30 days to check it out. Next up, we go to the indie licensing level. So this is if you make 100 grand or less. So we've got a monthly subscription plan at $15 USD a month. Um, always use the latest version, freeze license after 12 months out of the last 15. I'll look up what that means in just a second. And you can cancel and reactivate without a penalty. That's pretty nice. Uh, for, so if you kind of run into a low point or you're not using it for a while, just suspend your subscription, check it out later on and you're good to go. Now, if you know you're going to commit and you're good to go on a yearly basis for 150 bucks, you can subscribe for a year. You save two months in that particular case. Or finally, what everybody loves to see, there is a perpetual license. Basically, this is like saying, yeah, I'm going to subscribe for 12 months. It costs you 240 USD. And after that, you just won't get updates anymore unless you, you pay for them in some way. Now, again, that was the indie, all geared to people making less than 100K. If you are a professional, you got to pay more. Uh, at a subscription on a monthly basis, it's $40 a month. Annual basis is $400. And the perpetual license is then $700. And then finally, they have some education-based licensing uh, for students and teachers, free. 
That's nice. And you have up to free for 15 people a floating license at schools and universities. So they've definitely got some very nice uh, academic licenses out there. If you are at a school that needs more than 15, you have to contact them. So again, very generous free trial, uh, very generous education. Nice to see that they've got an indie. Now, are these values worth it to you? Well, that's ultimately going to come down to you. If this is, uh, you know, if you save... Uh, well, if you're a professional animator and this makes it so your workflow is faster, you're going to easily pay for that. If you're an indie who is working on a $0 budget, that $15 a month is a much harder pill to swallow. So I'm not going to even try to argue about value. It all depends on who you are, what your perspective is, what your budget is, uh, and so on. Uh, but it does make animation easy, does make rigging easy. And if those are two areas you, where you struggle with, and those are two areas where a lot of people look at Blender and go, yeah, it could use improvement there. So if you are even using Blender in your workflow and you struggle with animation, it is worth checking out the 30-day trial and see if it actually is helpful helpful for you. And again, the workflow is end-to-end -end FBX. So if you are having problems with FBX, may not be the ideal tool to you. But again, you can also export out just the animations. So it should make it easier to work with your DCC tool of choice. And the cool thing is, again, you've got pre-made rigs for both uh, Unreal Engine and Unity. So um, the two major game engines there, uh, minus Godot, are covered for pre-made rigs. And there's probably no reason why you can't use a pre-made Unity or Unreal Engine rig and export it out to something like the Godot game engine. There's nothing specific about those other than that they're pre-named and pre-configured to work best in those engines. Anyways, that is it. That is the Eketsu um, 3D rigging and animation package. Uh, it's definitely a cool one and one I do recommend you check out because of that generous 30-day free trial. Um, I, I won't be buying it, but then again, I'm not an animator. So <laughs> anyways, that's it. Let me know what you think. Comments down below and I will talk to you all later. All right. Goodbye.